said, if the only difference between God and Larry Ellison is that Larry, God doesn't think he's Larry Ellison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then right after that, he ends up working at Ampex where he really started to s start the, the concrete vision of what would eventually become Oracle. And that's, yeah, I think that was actually the company where he had that kind of epiphany moment where I think, I believe it was an IBM white paper mm -hmm. where back in that time, right, they were still probably using punch cards for the coding stuff. And so the biggest innovation for those that aren't as aware is databases are basically just information storage. Of course, we started with more primitive forms and that evolved, but this relational database is one of the, the biggest innovations. Back in his time, it was this new research that was coming out that hadn't been really productionized or commercialized, but now it's a, it's a fundamental foundation. Yeah. And so from there, um, he got that first idea and around this paper, around this time, this paper came out, this research paper came out and it had some ideas about, about relational databases. And so he worked on that for a little bit before starting his own company uh called software development laboratories and that was like two thousand bucks like 1200 of it and like that's what really got them going it was um watching some interviews of people that started the company with him and that were working with him at uh ampex before and it was so funny hearing them talk about the character of larry ellison back then they were like we would walk in and we would hear these people just talking all the time, not doing any work, just talking. And Sam, one of these guys was Larry Ellison. And he was just talking about how smart he was, how much smarter he was than everybody else. <laughs> and there's this massive ego that accompanies Larry, this yeah. strong belief in himself, how he's viewing the world and how he's parsing the world. And everything that happened kind of from those late 1900s into the you know the boom of the 2000s and the whole internet bubble and everything like that but yeah and then in 83 they in 83 they um renamed the company to oracle systems uh oracle systems basically uh, after like the yeah. and they released version two before version one <laughs> because they were like you know maybe it, it gets some eyes because all free v1s always have bugs yeah and a lot of their software was riddled with bugs pretty early on yeah.